So uh, we're going to uh, add a little bit of vitamin E to our lotion. And this is what our lotion looks like after whipping for about uh, roughly about 10 minutes. So it looks very much like a, a normal lotion that you would be able to purchase in a drugstore or grocery, uh, grocery store, something like that. And now that it's cooled down uh, a good amount, so it's about down to about 50 degrees Celsius here, I'm going to go ahead and add some vitamin E. We do not add vitamin E while it's extremely hot because that will denature the vitamin E. So I've got half a milliliter here. I'm going to go ahead and measure another half a milliliter. There we go. And once I whip this vitamin E into my lotion here, let me just go ahead and combine everything very well. I'm going to test the pH of my lotion to check and see if this is suitable for skin use. Okay, so now that that is well whipped into there, let's take a look. And so what I'm going to do is place a little bit of this lotion onto my pH paper here. And then to actually read the pH, I have to wipe it off. Okay, and now I'm going to get this as close as I can to the camera and show you we're at about pH 7 here which is good, seven is neutral, seven is allowed on the skin. Okay, and uh, for reference, the pH paper color, the original color, is there for you. Okay, so again, we're reading at about a seven for the pH of the lotion I just created. Let's compare to the pH of a few other lotions that we have available here in the lab. And so we've got a, uh, Victoria's Secret Lotion. This one's known as Midnight Mimosa. So I'm going to go ahead and squirt out a little bit onto my paper towel here and get a pH reading for it. Okay, let's see what we get. Again, I will place a little bit of the uh, lotion onto the pH paper and I have to wipe it off in order to be able to read the correct color. And here for this pH, I'm getting about a 5. So I'm actually between a 5 and a 6. Okay, so notice that's much more acidic than the pH of the lotion I just created. Okay, so usually commercial lotions are made slightly more acidic, and this is to preserve them because they will require a shelf life in order to, uh, you know, be sold at a store. Okay, so that was for the Victoria's Secret lotion. And uh, next up, we're going to take a look at uh, this uh, Jurgen's Skin Soothing Lotion. Let's take a look what pH we find here. Again, I'm going to dip my pH paper into the lotion and wipe it off and see what value we get. Just making sure I'm using a clean part of my glove. And again, we get a pH of about 5. Uh, so probably somewhere between 5 and 6 for this uh, lotion, the, the Jurgen's lotion. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to test out a... Uh, lotion that was uh, available at a hotel. So this is from the Fairmont and I'm going to go ahead and shake it up and let's test this pH as well. Okay, so this lotion has a pH of about 6. Okay, so it's a little less acidic than the uh, first two that we tested, uh, but out of all of the lotions that we test the pH on, my homemade lotion here had a pH of 7, so it has the highest pH of all the available lotions. Alright, so this has been a synthesis of a lotion for organic chemistry.